has everything to do with cell phone and posture. We're talking about cortisol and cortisol. Can't let you in, but the, the rule. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. All right, let me stop belaboring the point. As the course goes on, we're going to go further into the R complex, but right now we're talking about fear and our filter. So basically, if you ever, ever messed with a computer before, you ever dialed a number, if you press number one or 215 on your cell phone, what happens? 215 comes up. The same thing with information. So what happens? 95%, some people say between 85 and 95% of everything that we do in life is um, done by our subconscious mind. So we have um, we we'll talk about three minds here. So right now we're going to talk about the conscious mind and subconscious mind. Subconscious mind, yes, sir. Um, the, the R complex. Yes, sir. Reptile complex. Yeah, the lizard brain. The reptilian. Right. So, so. Yeah. So we have the same. I'm gonna give you up. I'm gonna give you up. No, I'm just going to people know what I'm kind of going with. No, nah, it's not good for me to speak without hearing the question. Okay. So. Are we saying that we have a, a, a imprint or DNA from the reptilian <coughs> process? That's like a yes and no, yes and no question. Um, me personally, I believe that um, the divine creator is responsible for this particular uh, 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 body image. Uh, there have been other sources of humanity on the earth uh, that don't. Right now, they consider us to be homo sapiens, sapiens, and you have homo erectus, and you have homo epiphagus, and you have uh, So there have been many different design models of so-called human species. But to answer the question regarding reptilian brain, this R complex is the same structure in reptilian or look on um, that that we currently in this body suit that we're walking have the same thing. And it's responsible what? For fear, like fornicating and feeding. That's all his job to do is to protect this body in this environment. So basically, marketers, have anyone ever heard of Edward Bernays? Edward Bernays was in the early 1940s. He's responsible for this why we eat eggs and bacon in the morning. Because of Edward Bernays. And he was, a, anyone ever heard of Sigmund Freud? Uh, yes. Okay, you know, you're, 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 you're Sigmund Freud. <laughs> well, this was his nephew. And uh, pretty much he didn't have anything to do. He left Austria, came to the US. What you doing? Um, let's do a marketing campaign. Oh, what do you want me to do a marketing campaign? He was so bright about knowing about how we are affected by emotions. Especially our uh, uh, people of our uh, genetic um, uh, structure are definitely uh, emotional people. I'm not saying that all the nationalities are not emotional. These are things that have been socially been targeted in, in demographics and, done and studies and know how to manipulate people. So we're going to talk about astrology and things of like that um, as we go on throughout the course. But no, before we get there, we got to have some foundational movements while we do the things that we do. I said 85 to 85, 95% of everything that we do is done subconsciously. That's a pretty heavy piece. So once again, I said if you dial 215 on your cell phone, pretty likely 99.9% .9 .9 215 is going to come out if you press the numbers correctly. So the same thing with emotional triggers. So emotional triggers, so if you had a trauma in your life and you you have not um, had the um, the proper training to deal with those emotional triggers, you're going to be subject to pressing 215 to relive those events or to act out or if you're unable to deal with that stress, may find yourself doing another line at the bar, throwing back a couple more than you should be. Yes, sir? Yeah, so are we influenced, since I look at time as all together, are we influenced by the future as well as the past? Without question. Without question, uh, we're going to be talking about that. Um, <coughs> peace, how are you? All right, how are you going? Yeah, we're definitely influenced by time. We're, um, <coughs> it's really interesting that you say that because we're, in my opinion, we're not in my opinion, it is, it is what it is. We're a dual creature, a dual being. We're both physical as well as spiritual. What I mean by spiritual, my definition of spiritual is living, uh, living in harmony with nature. That's my definition. You may have another definition before this class. It's living in harmony with nature. And we know that time and space, it's easier, this is an easier way to comprehend it. Everyone has ever seen an aquarium before? Aquarium? And what do, what do fish normally, uh, what's their medium? Or, I'm using a different word, thank you. Uh, what do fish swim in? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. What's their medium? Water, all right. 
our particular medium happens to be called time and space. And it's called, yeah, that's the medium that we live in. Some people call it the ether. And most people heard of the music group, Earth, Wind, and Fire. Yeah. But we're dealing with the ether. What is ether? It's an electrified field. That can, we'll get to that as we go on. No time for all those buttons if you want to come back. So you didn't get in trouble, you kicked out. <laughs> no, no, thank you for laughing. <laughs> <laughs> so, fear of light. Fear of light, water cake, our complex, reptilian, you be dumb. Come to find out, take the neocortex on back here to find out that we have the same uh, brain structure as reptilian. What does that have to do with cell phones? Now I'll bring it full circle. Talk about body posture. We talk about um, Amy Cuddy, Harvard University. Um, this study that they've done, come to find out, the whole purpose of this is to reduce the cortisol. Come to find out, postures have everything to do with what type of day we're going to have. So we find here at the work, you wait for your friends to get there, you're on the bus, or you're waiting for your uh, girlfriend or your husband to call you, whatever. We're mostly in this posture like this. This is called a weak posture. W-E-A-K, -E, uh, -E weak posture. It's a stress of cortisol producer. <laughs> so we want to nail it All right, so what happens is, if you want to feel like a boss or want to be a boss, then we, um, this is another exercise because um, I'm more interactive. So be mindful of um, not hitting, being in the other person's face. And um, this is um, this, uh, this is not to pick on you either. But this is um, these postures like this. I'm in protection mode. I need my fight. My fear, my fear information is coming in. And I'm quite sure about this. Um, I need to be safe. This is another um, fear posture with your legs crossed. Now, if you want to be powerful and in power, once again, my disclaimer here is this. You have to be mindful of who you um, demonstrate things from. Unless you just go like dealing with it. You, you just see your button punishment and you go all out. <laughs> now, this right here, this is a posture. I would like you to do this right here. Stretch your legs out. <laughs> Put your hands behind you. We ain't got a care in the world. You heard somebody say, that's right. <laughs> now, and you even feel like you don't have a care in the world. These are power postures. The goal is to hold them for 30, you know, the goal is to hold them for at least 30 seconds. You, the real goal is to hold them for one minute. Like I said, you're going to be in a position where nobody, like, oh, you just don't care, you don't care about my class. You just, you just really relax. So you just do that. And what happens is, what's the purpose of this exercise? To reduce cortisol. What is cortisol? It's a stress hormone. Yeah. Stress hormone does what? It causes you to uh, retain water. It causes you to uh, uh, belly fat, <laughs> cellular decrease because of what? So these, I didn't, you're not taking any pills. They already did, did the study for you. So it makes it easy. If you want to have more, for men who want to have increased testosterone, or women want to balance their estrogen out, and hot flashes is a good thing, or perimenopause is a good thing, if you want to how to keep that um, hot, I forgot the air, you get worried about that so much, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> you want to reduce it, then, <laughs> this is an exercise, yes sir. Got another question, cortisol, how come when athletes get hurt, they inject you with cortisol?